Welcome to the Supreme Biker Studio, my friends. Before the next uh, race, uh, I'm gonna show you the method of removing the pistons from the hydraulic caliper brake. I am simply using here uh, the syringe from my bleeding kit, but no oil. Uh, water is fine. It will be sealed on the system. Uh, sealed on the system. So uh, the only need, uh, thing you need to do is to hold your finger uh, just around that uh, that hole uh, for the hose because there's no hose so the the water would leave there and we need the pressure in the system now in the caliper so I'm just holding that that hole with my finger and pushing pretty hard on my syringe uh, and just working on those um, uh, pistons you see they go back and forth back and forth back and forth so, so just push and release push and release push and release do some exercise with it uh, and finally you will see water, le water leaking uh, from, uh, from behind those pistons which means that they left their, their, their place in the, in the caliper uh, but th that, that won't be uh, done just yet because they go against each other yeah. and you cannot remove uh, any of those just yet important thing number one don't break the pistons because that's how I damaged my original piston. Uh, this is uh, the spare part I bought on the Craigslist. So you need to push evenly on the piston and now sec second th important thing on the bleeding caliper side. So the piston that we have now uh, on the bottom that's the one you need to push back and the pick is great for that because I am evenly applying some force on it from both sides so it, it goes evenly uh, down uh, to the uh, to the caliper and now the the one uh, above will just be easy to remove just like that it's done so beautiful uh, so don't break the the piston uh, push back the piston from the Mm, from the bleeding um, valve side and now I'm just showing you some methods I was trying to use before I, I even thought about the bleeding kit again uh, I was putting the oil uh, around this piston and I was trying to use some small tiny calipers and even the vacuum cleaner it all didn't work but it is a very simple thing you simply use again your bleeding kit with water you push your thumb on that hole up there and you just push it off the caliper it will go it must go uh, if it doesn't want to again you do the exercise back and forth back and forth back and forth because it will move uh, back and forth on its uh, seal uh, but here you can see it's almost done boom removed great thing so what I'm doing now is to uh, smear my uh, piston I wanna uh, put to my... Th these are actually the new Altigra brakes. I broke it during bleeding kit. I never, I've never done it before, uh, but I did it this time. So once again, smear it with oil and try to be pushing it very evenly from both sides. Uh, it, it doesn't go into the caliper that easily. And also make sure you do it with the right side. There is inside and outside uh, side of this uh, of this piston. So uh, now it's in its place. Uh, now I'm um, degreasing the whole caliper. You don't want any oil on your uh, pads after this operation. And the important thing now is two seals. Don't forget about any of these. And also don't swap those because one is smaller one is larger so the first o-ring goes here it has to seal the connection this is little tunnel in between those two parts of the caliper so you see it it goes right here and that's the larger one larger diameter the smaller one goes pretty tight on the screw which will go on the same uh, tunnel there because that's the screw I showed you on how the brakes work that will allow the oil to flow from one side of the caliper to the second side to the other side of the caliper that's pretty pr pretty much uh, all you need to know 
So that's the method. It's easy. Now I'm just assembling both parts together. Mm, I will now bleed the system, actually put the oil in the system and bleed it. Done. If you like it, subscribe and like it. See you guys. Bye-bye.